Daily Service and Maintenance To perform maintenance work under the machine, the red safety supports must be mounted at the points provided for each lifting column. The machine is then lowered onto these supports. In addition, the key switch must be set to the tool replacement position. If the key is then removed, operation of the machine by third parties is no longer possible. A crank handle for turning the milling rotor is located on the left side of the rear toolbox. Attaching the crank handle to the lower V-belt pulley allows turning of the milling rotor. If the optional rotor turning device is installed, the milling rotor can be turned in either direction of rotation with the engine switched on by simply pressing the corresponding button on the rotor turning device. This allows for a quick and easy check of the milling rotor and of its picks and pick holders. If the picks have to be replaced, this can be done using the manual tools stored in the lower toolbox. It is also possible to use the optional pneumatic tools for pick replacement. To do so, the pneumatic hose is connected to the compressed air tank installed at the rear of the machine. Should the engine have to be stopped during pick replacement, this can be done by pressing and holding both buttons of the optional rotor turning device. Numerous grease connectors are provided in different positions of the machine allowing the machine to be lubricated as necessary. The air filters for the cabin ventilation are installed behind the operator's cabin. They must be cleaned at regular intervals. The storage tank for windshield washer fluid is also located behind the cabin. The fuel pre-filter is located behind the panel on the right side of the machine. It should be drained at regular intervals. The railing needs to be folded up when stepping on the engine cowling. Additional points of maintenance are located behind the engine and can be accessed by opening the two service panels. This allows the hydraulic fluid supply to be checked. This also offers ready access to the different cooler units and the air conditioning system. If contaminated, the coolers can be cleaned by means of compressed air. For cleaning purposes, a compressed air supply is installed and a hose with compressed air nozzle stored in the upper toolbox. All service panels and the railing need to be locked prior to leaving the engine unit. The batteries are located behind the side panel, which can be unlocked when the engine cowling is open. For further information on servicing and maintenance, please refer to the manual included in the information folder.